We're in Eagle Rock today to attend the Bob Baker Marionette Theater. Do you know where you are? The movie theater. It's not a, it's a puppet theater. Puppet theater. This the puppet theater. We've come to the Bob Baker Marionette Theater for the annual Halloween Spooktacular. This show plays annually before Halloween, though the theater has shows running all year long. Before the show, it was fun to listen to the theater organist. He was fantastic. If you come to the theater in October, you can see the Spooktacular. It's a boozical review that features over 100 spirited puppets. Dim the Chandeliers, the frightfully fun Halloween Spooktacular beckons you to the place where imagination lurks. Bob Baker. In 1930, Bob Baker saw his first puppet show in Los Angeles. Not long afterwards, he established his own petite theater in his backyard. While a student at Hollywood High School, Bob began making toy marionettes that sold worldwide. After high school, he apprenticed at George Pal Animation Studios, ultimately becoming Head animator of Puppet Tunes, a landmark studio that produced animated stop motion puppet films. Bob's projects included puppetry design for Disneyland's Main Street, and you may have seen his contributions on many television shows, including Bewitched, Star Trek, as well as movies such as Disney's Bedknobs and Broomsticks and Close Encounters of the Third Kind.
What was your favorite puppet? Which one? The witch? My favorite puppet? It's probably those um, fluorescent ones with the balls on the end. That was cool. The glow in the dark ones. What's your favorite puppet? The baby crab. <laughs> yes. What was your favorite puppet? Ice, the ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. What was your favorite puppet? I like the cat. <laughs> After the show, head over to the gift store where you can buy books, hats, shirts, and yes, even puppets that you can take home with you. These are puppets. These are so cute. This one is a clown. The Bob Baker Marionette Theater started in 1963. It was named an official Los Angeles Historic Cultural Monument in 2009, and over the years, the theater has served over one million children with original shows ranging from Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker to a musical journey through the history of Los Angeles. Bob Baker passed away in 2014 at the age of 90, but his vision of preserving puppet history lives on at this theater. We're out of the show. I don't think I've ever been to a puppet show before. Not like that, not no. Not, no? No. So what do you think? I, I liked it. It was really good. They yeah. were good at it. They were very good. Yeah. Apparently, the uh, Screen Actors Guild, I learned this today, they have a special classification for puppeteers because it's a special skill. I bet. That they designate for actors. It, that can't, do be, that. it can't be easy. Yeah. It looks really hard. Yeah. I was pretty impressed with the uh, the pre-show organist. Yes. He was excellent. Very good. And you don't see organists like that very often mm -hmm. playing that old style theater organ. Mm -hmm. So he was great. Played for about a half yeah. hour before the show started. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, a lot of uh, sounds out of that that was coming out of the organ. That he was. It just fit. It fit whatever yep. the song was. He's really good. Yeah. I think this is a place that's well worth coming to, especially if you have kids, if you have these littles, because our littles really enjoyed it. Yeah. This is another one of those examples of, apparently they've been doing this here for like 50 plus years or 60 years. Yeah. I never heard about this until yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. So like we always say, um, you might find where you live within... 10 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles, something that you've never done before. So this was something new for us today. Mm -hmm. Go out and see what's new where you live. I concur. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.